All right, guys, welcome back to Good Day. You know, people don't normally hang out on our back lot here, but when you tell them we have grilled cheese sandwiches, suddenly they start coming out of the building. Hey, Matt, can I get a little piece of one? Matt, can I grab, come up a little slice of one? There we go. Okay, that's the lobster, right? That's the lobster. Fantastic. Can I take that one with me? Let's have some to the drink with us, guys. We got uh, the folks from Boring Rose Brewing Company. They're going to be at the SAC Grilled Cheese Festival this weekend. This is Jamie and this is Billy. Now, first of all, before we get into it, explain the name of the brewing company. So, Boring Rose Brewing is our two names. Boring used to be my maiden name, and now I'm a rose when I married Billy. So, our two families are working together to make this dream happen. So it's not that the flower is not entertaining, it's just the combination. Not at all, not no. So tell us a bit about your brewery. How long have you guys been in business? So we've been in business for a couple of years now, but um, we have our production facility on our property, our ag land. It, the brewery is actually in a greenhouse, and we are working towards opening up a tap room in El Dorado Hills Town Center here in, in a few months. So where can people get your beer now? Right now we're at, we're on tap at Relish in El Dorado Hills, along with Steve's Pizza in El Dorado Hills and Folsom. Okay, so you guys are going to be taking part in the grilled cheese festival. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying the lovely lobster grilled cheese. What kind of beers do you think pair best with grilled cheese? I think it's going to depend on what special ingredients are in there. If you got a spicy grilled cheese, maybe you go for the lighter blonde or the Kolsch. Or if maybe you want our Latrobe Lager, which is a, a maltier California common style lager, or we have Lost Horizon Hazy. Mm -hmm. Now, are you guys a grilled cheese fans? I mean, everybody is, right? Yes. Absolutely. We love grilled cheese. Yes. How do you like yours? We normally just make plain grilled cheese, but <laughs> now I guess we're going to have to try yeah, shrimp yeah, grilled I cheese. Yeah, try the lobster one. Yeah. Um, so, what do you guys, what's on the horizon? Are you looking at new varieties, flavors? How's that? Yeah, um, we're looking into making some seltzers and some sours. Um, right now, we've just been, you know, we've only been in business for a few years, mm -hmm. so we've been working on the basics. We've gotten that down, so we're going to branch out and do some unique beers as well. What made you get into making beers? Um, well, we started homebrewing when the pandemic hit, and we were kind of multitasking, you know, working from home. We started doing the homebrew thing and making the sourdough bread. And it's funny, we were looking back the other day and we actually made our Instagram account for our brewing company like the day that we made our first batch of beer. Wow. So we were like, okay, we're doing this thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and cool. So we went for it. Well, guys, they are going to be out there at the SAC Grilled Cheese Festival, the website, sacgrilledcheesefestival.com. Tickets are available. We're also going to link all that to our website. It's going on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, Saturday is the adults only. Yes, yeah, Saturday is 21 and over, unlimited food, wine, and beer, desserts, and local soda. And then Sunday is all Ron, thank you so much. Guys, I'm going to keep enjoying this. You I don't blame you. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Dad.